Have you been considering leaving your present country in search of greener pastures in a different country, in a different state, in a different city? Have you been thinking, oh my God, it's very hard. I can't even feed right. I can't even look after my kids. Oh my God, I can't look after my mom, my dad. It's so hard, it's so difficult. The cost of living in your city is so high. The inflation is at the rooftop and you just realize, oh my God, I just can't stay in this city anymore. I can't stay in this country anymore. I need to relocate. I need to move to a different state, a different city, or even a different country. Okay? Now, if you've been considering this thought, then this video is for you. In this video, we're going to talk about everything and anything that has to do with moving to a different city, a different state, or a different country. Things that you think you've considered, but I'm going to make you understand that you need to rethink and consider it deeply before you make your next move. Now, if this content is for you and if you've been looking out for this kind of content or someone who can cancel you on such affairs, stay tuned. I'll be right back with more. You know the way I do it and I drop lyrical Anytime I spit lyrical, philosophical All the niggas mimical, but they stare still On ticket literal, punch lines go lateral Snap them on that Hello YouTube, hello Chronix, how are you all doing today? Now like I said in the introduction, have you been finding it hard making ends meet in your city? Do you think the cost of living is going high and your earnings stay in place with inflation eating into the value of your local currency and making the purchasing power go lower and lower even still? Have you found out that the salary you earn from your workplace or the amount of revenue you generate from your business is fixed but everything else is on the up so the rent is increasing the cost of petrol for your car is increasing your kids school fees increasing and the value of your currency is shrinking if you are into economics or if you know about economic principles you will know that the more there's the higher inflation in an economy if the inflation is very high it means the value of the currency is weakened and the purchasing value of that currency goes down even still have you found it very hard to make ends meet and now you're now contemplating or romancing the thought of moving to a new state to a new city or even to an entirely new geographical location in a new country now have you ever stopped to think that maybe just maybe whatever you're doing now could be done with you still in the same location but offering the same service to people in a different location have you thought about this before? So maybe you've been working this job for five years, for 10 years, and there's been this sudden economic downturn and things are not looking good. Have you thought of using the experience you've gained from working this job for such a long time and offering it to people who live in a different country? Maybe trying to get clients in South Africa or get clients in New York or get clients in Sydney, Australia, or get clients in Singapore, Bangladesh. Now, because there's so much inflation and the purchasing power of your local currency has been diminished and has been reduced drastically, your economy or your country's economy becomes more attractive when people whose currency has more purchasing power are looking to employ labor or looking to outsource work through globalization. Do you get it? So moving to a different country or to a different state might not entirely be the solution to your problem. Okay? Your problem really is not more money. Your problem is taking what you know, your skill set, and applying it in a market where there is that need and demand for people like you with your given specialized skill set. Have you thought of going online and finding out the market where the services you offer are booming at the moment? Because I've stayed in England, I've stayed in England for a minute, I traveled to Germany, I've been to one or two other countries, and I can tell you for a fact that there are broke people everywhere. 
traveling to America or to Australia or to London or whatever country you've been thinking about traveling to is not going to automatically take your problem away. There's still broke people there. I realize that the problem people have is in planning. Most people don't plan. Most people believe that more money is going to take the problem away, but it would not take the money away. If I give you a million dollars now, what you're going to find is a million ways to spend a million dollars. You're going to look for a higher house. You're going to look for a bigger car. You're going to look for more trendier clothes to wear, better shoes and all whatnot. Okay. Recently, I know a lot of Nigerians are thinking of going to Saudi Arabia, Canada and stuff. I don't know whether you watched the news recently. The World Cup is going to be hosted in Qatar. The World Cup, I think it's 2022 World Cup, is going to be hosted in Qatar. And recently in the news, the working conditions of the workers from Brazil, from Africa, and from all these other countries, they're working to make sure that the Qatari government meets up with your promise of having all the stadiums ready for the World Cup. Um, it was highlighted that their working conditions were very, very poor. Now, bear, bear, bear this in mind that the families of those workers in their respective countries are going to be thinking oh my daddy is working in qatar oh qatar they have the oil money they're being paid well oh my god we're going to be living that dream life but it's not so and the pressure has been put on david beckham to pull out as the face of the world cup in 2022 because of the poor working conditions of those people working in those stadiums so it's not always greener on the other side Okay, now while we're at this, have you given much thought into how you're going to be living, the living conditions that you're going to subjecting yourself? And if you're planning to relocate with your family, if you have a kid, if you have a husband or your brother or your mother, if you're trying, planning to relocate with these people, have you thought about the working, the living conditions that you will subject yourself and your family members to before you land your first job? Have you even thought about the kind of job that you might want to get when you travel to that country? Because you might be an architect in Nigeria. It doesn't mean that your qualification is going to be at the same level as those who are architects in your target country. So it could be that you went to a university in Nigeria. It could be that you went to a polytechnic. It could be that you didn't even test the four walls of a university and you've just been working and you, you were self-taught and you learned everything on the go, on the jump, by just working manually under someone as an apprentice and you go to be an architect or an engineer and you plan to go to a foreign country and think, you know, I'm going to be an architect in this country or I'm going to be an engineer in this country. Have you stopped for just one second to think that just maybe you don't have the documentation to back landing that dream job when you get to that foreign country? Has it occurred to you that you might have been an engineer in a prestigious firm in Nigeria, or you might have been self-employed as an engineer, walking or moving to a different country, you might need to start from the scratch. You might need to work in a warehouse. You might need to serve tables before you land your first job. Or are you so infatuated with the thought that, oh, just traveling to America, my problem is going to be solved. Oh, traveling to England, I'm going to be good. Oh, traveling to Australia, my bread is going to be buttered. It's not so. While I was in the UK, I was broke. I, I spent all my money and I had to literally walk my way up from a warehouse before I landed a good job. I think a video is going to pop up on what to do if you, if you get broke in a foreign country. But what the point I'm trying to make is you broke people everywhere. And all the people I've heard talking about, oh, I have to travel to a different country. It's too hard in Nigeria. It's too insecure in Nigeria. It's also insecure in other countries. Have you thought about this? Have you thought about that even the crime in those other countries are probably more sophisticated than it is in your home country? There was this news flash, there was this news that came up about North, North East, no, South East London where gang members literally took kitchen knives and went to the park and were stabbing people. There was even that news of the Nigerian, hmm, my darling Nigerian, hmm, 
<laughs> the Nigerian who took a meat cleaver and hacked someone to death in broad daylight. This happened in a Western country. Have you thought about this? Have you ran your research into the par capital income earning ability of the economy for the target country that you're looking to travel to? If I ask you, what is the par, what is the par capital income per citizen, per head in that country, do you know? But if you're trying to relocate, you need to, you need to consider, oh, I'm going to go to a country that is far better than the country I'm in. Has it occurred to you that maybe the per capita income for citizens in or for citizens in certain states in America are not the same? Because most people are moving with the working thought that oh, it's good in America, it's blessed in America, it's bothered, money and resources, opportunities are everywhere, front, back, right, and left. It's not that way. America, most American states are self-sufficient. That's why you heard about the state of Detroit going broke and filing for bankruptcy. So have you done your research into what you're going to do instead of leaving things to chance? So like I said at the start, taking your skill set and applying it to the area where there is the most demand might be your best bet. Okay, so you are an architect and you've been working for this company for XYZ period of time. Have you thought about looking to Upwork, looking to Fiverr, open up, opening up profiles in these HR online platforms that are literally the, the professionals Facebook? Have you even gone on LinkedIn? Have you tried to interface, meet new people, leave your comfort zone, meet new people in whatever country they might be coming from? South Africa, Cape Town in South Africa, Bangladesh in, in, in India, Sydney in Australia, New York in America, London in England, and all these other parts of the world and find out if you could get clients who you could draw designs for houses, for roads, for bridges, and get paid in hard currency, pounds, euros, dollars, whatever you want, it can be done. Relocating to a different country, I honestly do not see it as the solution to the problem of lack or insufficient leaving due to lack of proper funds or poor living conditions, okay? So I want you to think about this very deeply. I was in England, I was broke. I was in Nigeria, I was broke. Being broke is not a respecter of whatever country you are in. The Americans that are no penny in my pocket broke. I haven't eaten in literally two days broke. But you need to plan. You need to, you, there's something you can do. Whatever, I don't care who you are. I don't care how messed up in the head you might be. You know how to do something. There is something you can do. Now you need to take that skill set, that know-how, and find the market where people are going to pay you top dollar, premium dollar, for whatever it is you know how to do. You don't need to travel to England. You don't need to go to Australia. You damn well don't need to go to China or Singapore, unless you're a businessman who is going to get his goods from those places. And even if you're a businessman, you don't need to go. <laughs> there are companies, logistic companies that can test these products for you and send you top quality products, okay? So I hope I've been able to assuage you that traveling to a foreign country might not be the solution you've always dreamt about. You could make that dream work out for you right here. And even if you wanna go, there are certain things that you need to take into serious considerations before you travel, okay? Now, Traveling to a foreign country is not free, except maybe you want to travel to free destinations like I did in my, like I showed you in my last video, which is going to pop up there. The free destinations that you don't need a visa to get into, except this is what you want to do. Go to visa-free destinations. But even if you want to go to visa-free destinations, have you thought about the fact that you need to pay for the 
flight ticket to get on the plane to travel there. So it's not cheap. You need to think about this stuff, okay? There are things you can do from here, from Nigeria, that could also put you at the level, maybe even surpass the level of those living in so-called Western countries, okay? So guys, if this video has been helpful to you, 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 you guys out there, do your boy a favor, support what I'm trying to do. Go down there, what you doing? Go down there and smash the subscribe button. And if you like the kind of contents we drop on Mondays, if, it's, if you like traveling, tourism, or Thursdays, which is civil affairs, because we put out videos Mondays and Thursdays, then why don't you think about turning on your notification bell, which is just beside the subscribe button. So when we drop new content, you are in the know and you can catch our content as they drop. And if you have friends, family members who are thinking of relocating to a different city, different state, different country, why don't you think about sharing this video with them so they can be guided on what to do and what to expect and how to plan going forward. And if you want to get close to Fuse, oh, come on now, I need some love. If you want to get close to Fuse, why don't you follow me on Instagram? Slide into my DMs and leave me a comment or two, okay? Ask me questions. I answer every inquiry as they come in. Don't forget, I always say this, your happiness is your property. I cannot make you happy, only you can. So why don't you choose to be happy today and have an awesome week going forward. It's still your boy Fuse and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.